How many times in your life have you gone through something you thought you wasn't going to make it? What you have to do is to be steady in the storm. If you're steady, you will outlast it. If you're steady, you will outlive it. If you're not steady, it's only because you don't have the faith to believe that there's something on the other side of it. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually you've been planted. What do you do when you've gotten no and you don't know where to go? You pause and you wait. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me and I said I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. There are people who come in your life sometimes to be there for a season. Sometimes we find ourselves hooked up with people that we think are there for a lifetime but they were only supposed to be there for a season. There are people who come in your life like boosters for a rocket. If you ever watch a rocket go into space, the boosters fall off when it reaches a certain altitude. Some people are not equipped to handle the altitudes that you're going to. So don't be afraid when they fall off. They're not bad people. They just couldn't go where you're going. I believe that everything happens for a reason. People change so that you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so that you can learn to appreciate them when they're right. And sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. That's why you pissed off with Monday, because Monday is the day that you're supposed to go mold and shape and create your greatness. That's why you like Friday. I get it, because Friday you get to chill. You don't have to face yourself on Friday. You don't have to face yourself on Saturday or on Sunday. That's the day that everybody is partying. Everybody's drunk. Everybody gets to forget that they didn't become who they were supposed to come during the week. That's why I get it now, but I challenge you. Most people aren't obsessed with their goals because they don't believe they're worthy of them. It's easy to dream about what you want. We're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it making money? Because the purpose is you. Every fucking day I wake up, and I don't want to do some fucking shit. You want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what? I'm still going to get it. There is no excuse for not living up to the, your fullest potential. No excuse. Winners win and losers lose. I can't explain it any better than that. I don't know how it happens, but winners win. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. You're suffering from self-doubt while others are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving and keep growing. I understand now you are attracted to greatness because greatness is all in you. But it's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time, to put in the energy, to, to discipline yourself, to sacrifice. It's easier. And so that's why you average. And so you frustrated because you're not living like you should live. 